What is up my crazy subscriber, this is Joking Jaws 34 and today I would like to talk about the multiplayer of Black Ops 3. As you can see in this image, this image was leaked by charlieintil.com. If you guys haven't seen that website yet, I suggest to check it out right now because they're leaking a lot of stuff about Black Ops 3 and it's a trustworthy site. Everybody looks through it, even Allier himself or T. Martin, you know, the guys who orgasm over the next Call of Duty all the goddamn time. And uh, well, this image pretty much shows you what multiplayer is going to be like. So let's read off the first part. The new movement system. Wow, you know, what is going to be implemented in this new game? So with Black Ops 3, Treyarch premieres a new momentum-based chain movement system allowing players to fluidly move through the environment with finesse using controlled thrust jumps. Oh, God. Oh, no. Pretty much sounds super familiar to Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. I need to read the back of the box of Call of Duty Advanced Warfare at this point because it sounds super familiar just by that word, thrust jumps. Come on, man. So, anyways, slides, the abilities, and magnitude, I mean, and multitude, a combination, all while maintaining the complete control over your weapon at all times. It doesn't mean shit to me, because all I'm worried about is about thrust jumps. So, we are able to actually jump, like, around 10 feet high at all times. Again. So, we got ourselves another Call of Duty Advanced Warfare coming up. We are going to have another Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Wow. Wow, you surprised me a lot, Treyarch. Van de Haar, I thought you were listening to your like fans, because I remember a long time ago on Twitter, you were asking people, did you like how you used to play Black Ops 2? Well, Black Ops 3 is going to be the same thing. The fuck? I don't remember jumping 10 feet high. As much as I... Well, maybe like from off buildings and shit, but... I don't remember just like by the standing point, jumping 10 feet high. Come on, Van de Haar, I ought to slap you with a fucking... You know something with a fucking hammer you know i don't know but it's, it's like running through my mind right now and i can, just can't process it. like you told us you're gonna bring us something new or maybe like go back to its roots and like what the fuck we get this shit again seriously so now we're gonna get another call of the events warfare in our hands uh the next thing they were talking about is about the tailored map design as maps are designed from the ground up for the new movement system, which is already like in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, allowing players to be successful with a traditional movement. Traditional movement. Wow. I don't remember jumping all the goddamn time in Modern Warfare 2 unless you had hacks or mods into the game. That's the only time I remember jumping like around 30 feet high. So I don't know if that's traditional, man. I, I don't think that's traditional at all. As well as we advance tactics and maneuvers. Advanced tactics would be like, let me guess if there's somebody around that corner while running my ass over there and not jumping. So, uh, yeah. Specialist characters. Black Ops 3 multiplayer will also introduce the new specialist character system which allows players to rank up and master each specific character's better horn cap. This sounds similar to Call of Duty Ghost though. Because if you guys remember, we had like around five players, right? Which you ranked up, which you prestige. And every time you prestige, you know, you, that's it. It's like around 50 levels, and that's it. You're stuck with that character. So this sounds familiar to Call of Duty Ghosts. So they took the second part, tailored, uh, the, the new movement system, the first part of this thing, from Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. And then they took the specialist characters from Call of Duty Ghosts. Okay. With this addition, traditional and next weapon XP's progressive system, Black Ops 3 multiplayer gives players two different ways to rank up. But I'm still ranking up while killing, right? So that's my point. And capturing objectives, like always. So there's really not nothing new you can actually gain your XP from. Just by killing and capturing objectives. So, I don't know, man. If this is real, well, fuck you, Von Der Haar. You're still giving us Call of Duty Advanced Warfare combined with Call of Duty Ghost. If this is not true, well, hopefully we don't have any kind of boost jumps or any kind of jetpacks. Because... I don't want to have another Advanced Warfare, man. I want to have another traditional game. Traditional, like, from Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2, Modern Warfare 2, Call of Duty 4, World at War, you know, those kinds of games, you know? That's what I'm talking about. But we said we're going to have another Call of Duty Advanced Warfare piece of shit. I guess so. But people are going to be like, nah, let's leave it off the hook because, you know, it's Vanderhaar. And then they have an orgasm after that. So, like, I don't know, man. I guess I'm going to have to deal with this shit again. And this time I'm not backing up. I will admit, I'm starting to hit the game already. Because if that boosting jump happens again, I hate the game, but I will just show it for business. And no way or shape or form I will have fun in this game at all. Ah, man. When will Activision learn? Somebody got to go to the offices and punch the fucking 
you know, the main guy of that company because you're not doing anything good at this point. You're losing traditional players. You're trying to make up new ones and you're trying to compete against Star Wars Battlefront and, and fucking Titanfall and Destiny. You don't need to compete against those, man. You, all you need to do is just continue the, the tradition, you know. Modern Warfare 2, man. Where's our next Modern Warfare 2? Modern Warfare 3 was good and all, but it was too fucking laggy. Give us a continuation of that, you know. Fuck. So anyways, that is it. If this is true, well, I guess it's true. If it's false, well, I guess well, let's just wait for Sunday. So that is it. Subscribe for more. If you guys want to see more Black Ops 3 news and rumors.